Hotel California. <laughs> right. Okay. A, a lot of people may not have know who Aleister Crowley is, but Aleister Crowley is someone who was considered to be a, a high priest Satanist. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's the one that ordained Marilyn Manson and then Marilyn Manson. I mean, um, I'm sorry. Aleister Crowley ordained Anton LaVey. Okay. Anton LaVey ordained Marilyn Manson. Right. Okay. This guy, Aleister Crowley, I was told that when they were about to turn in those two inch reels to, uh, to the record company, the Eagles were, mm -hmm. that this guy prayed over those, yep. those reels. Yep. Okay. Now, some people may say, oh, that's not true. You know, that's not true. Mm -hmm. But now, if you look at that album cover mm -hmm. and you open it mm -hmm. up on top, if I were to open it up like this, I'm trying to show everybody, mm -hmm. there's a floor and then there's a balcony up here. Mm -hmm. Up on that balcony, they have a, a, a Aleister Crowley showing half of his face. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. he's there, so they're pretty much admitting to that. Right. Okay, then you have, um, uh, I think it's Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club, the Beatles. Uh -huh. They have a picture. They have many people on there, and they have a picture of Aleister Crowley there. Mm -hmm. Like, what does this high priest Satanist have to do with this music? He he, um, it's spiritual spirituality. They do these incantation in this ritual where they put this album in the north the north face of a room, and they bring about thirteen witches along with themselves, and they pray incantations and bad demonic um, stuff into this witch call it, so it could have an effect. And it only works if you sing a. Mm. Whew. Okay, so um, <laughs> real dark. Yeah, it's super dark. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is uh, all of this kind of is connected, right? Because one of the things, <laughs> back to Kendrick real quick. One of the <laughs> one of the things Kendrick said is basically like this industry is weird, and there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the things that people have been saying for years. It's demonic. It's it's a lot of debauchery going on. So this is another like <laughs> you know nail in the coffin of the industry. If if the industry is hiding ditties in it mm -hmm. or is controlled by a bunch of ditties <laughs> this is this is it's getting exposed this year yeah. Oh, yeah, whoever yeah. whoever's involved is getting exposed in 2024 mm. clearly mm -hmm. something's going on this year but what they're talking about uh jeremiah and i actually did a song about this or you mentioned Alester oh, yeah. crawley yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't know who he is mm -hmm. but he's um he brought the mentality of do as thou wilt Mm -hmm. into music yeah and you see a lot of people championing that uh mentality of it's it's a it's a satanic mentality of do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. don't do what god wants you to do it's the same thing that um the yeah. serpent in the garden said Jesus do what Jesus. you want to do do you yeah. do you is satanic yeah because what it says is you're your own god there's no authority you you answer to you are your own authority you are your own god yeah and you can do whatever you want to do. And a, a lot of these artists, this person is not lying. A lot of these artists embraced the Lester Crawley mm -hmm. and adopted a lot of his Philosophy. philosophies. Mm -hmm. And they, yeah. they, they didn't even hide it. Like they said, he, he's on these cover arts. It's stuff hidden in messages, backwards messages in, in songs. Mm -hmm. Like they, they were embracing this theology of I am God. I could do whatever I want. I make reality yeah. but you do, do you know that um by the time it got to the beat by the time it got to the beatles and they were experimenting with lsd yeah yeah so it was like and it was a gentleman i, can, I wish i could re, i could re remember his name he was big on lsd with the hippies yeah and he was giving these um artists lsd as they were recording and different things of that nature yeah and that's one of those things like um uh with 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 well, Lester Crawley was big on, of course, black magic. Of course, he was big on um, sex magic, which is like sex with kids and all this other stuff mm -hmm. um, to give you power and give you, you know, different things of that nature. But all, I, all I'm saying is um, it's, 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 it's stemmed and honestly, and, and people, people don't know this, but new ageism ushers you into Satanism. People may, at, at times I've heard, it's the same where, thing. where it's like, yeah. yeah, it's the same thing, where it's like, you know, I'm God, I'm this, I'm that. You know what I mean? And that's the that was the garden, like you said, like um telling Eve, hey, you could be just like God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is why Kendrick's <laughs> point of view on this whole thing is ridiculous. That's that's the whole Eckhart Tolle thing. You are Jesus. You yeah. are the savior yeah. of yourself. Yeah. You are you are another Jesus. You can uh, ascend to some enlightenment. Right. Yeah. So Drake 
believes that as well. Yeah. He believes he's as his own God. Yeah. And Kendrick believes he's his own God. Yeah. That's why I'm like, this whole thing is just y'all are all worshiping the same God. Yeah. yeah which man. is yeah. which is yourself and the devil. Yeah. And it was, it's it's like that. Yeah. The weird, the spooky stuff doesn't even have to be true for this to be satanic. And that's why mm -hmm. I think a lot of people who click on these videos and they click on all the videos with all the, you know, bright colors and weird faces all over it because they want to find out some some weird ceremonies that are being done in the industry. It's yeah. being done in front of your face. Yeah. 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 The weird stuff is not the the goats in the in the in the sacrifices. It's the people saying that you're your own God right in your face. Yeah. That's satanic. That's yeah. the original satanic uh, offer yeah. Yeah. that was yeah. given. Using the influence. I think, too, the guy was saying how they do these incantations and spells over the music. Imagine if that was happening right now with these diss tracks. Mm. Mm. How many people would that be impacting right now if they were doing incantations over every diss track that yeah. came out? I mean, I, I'm guessing. If, I'm, I'm sure if, <laughs> if I was in a mall and... People listening to the music and somebody is like Team Drake and Team Kendrick, they may get into the altercation. People are feuding to find out. We have, the, we have the that Holy Spirit. The I don't believe we can be possessed because we have the Holy Spirit yeah. or whatnot. Yeah. But think about it. Christians right now, Christian rappers, you know, are they listening to these beefs more or are they reading their Bible? And stuff? <laughs> Bro, now you step on toes. Everybody's more engaged in this beef than we are in the things yeah. of God right now. Yeah. Just being real. So like... For the believer, you can't be possessed, but you're, you're not focused. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're not in the position you're not a believer. Distracted. Yeah. I feel that way about hip hop, though. I've, I mean, ever since we kind of left, you know, the, the circle that we were in, I've always been like, yo, this is, is it's on a decline, right? We know that it's been on a decline for years. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I really trust in Christian artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really trust in, in the music that I'm letting my kids listen to mm -hmm. openly in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to slip something in there that's going to make me go like, oh, man. You know? So, I mean, my daughter is listening to something. I, I go in her room last night, and she's listening to something on Alexa. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a cartoon theme song, but yeah. it's Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. And I'm listening to the words, and it's like she's saying the B word, but she's mute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know what it means, and I'm sitting there like, man, my daughter. That's going into her heart. Yeah, yeah. like I gotta, I gotta figure this out. I gotta talk. You know, talk, let, talk let me tell you, I had this experience this morning actually, where you know I'm the one on the show that's kind of like, I don't really believe all this is that serious. I don't think music is that yeah, influential. I'm, I, I still am, <laughs> but, but where where I realize I'm wrong because I, I think I think y'all are ignoring how much films Ooh, have an impact. Yeah. Like I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. But um, but I had the experience this morning. I was playing something. I can't remember what it was. But the music in in the um, in the YouTube video, it wasn't nothing bad yeah. on the screen. The music had like a sad melody under yeah. it. And my daughter was like, can you turn? Oh, oh, you know, like when you pause on Google Chrome or something yeah. where you're watching yeah. YouTube and then it'll have like um, like animations like lanterns yeah. Yeah. rising yeah. or like a, a like a, a drone flying over a city or something mm -hmm. like that. And you could choose to swipe up and yeah. see those things. It was like lanterns floating out of the water it was an oh, animation yeah, right? yeah, yeah, you've yeah. probably seen this one yeah and my daughter was like oh what is that because it, it reminds her of you know the movie tangled there's like lanterns yes. that they put yeah. up in there. so she was like can you click on that one so i clicked on it and it was just the lanterns coming out of the water mm -hmm. but it had like a moody mm. soundtrack and she was like can you turn that off i was like why i thought oh, you wanted yeah. to see the lanterns on, baby. she was like it's making me sad mm. oh mm -hmm. i was like it's making you sad that's what i'm like oh that's what mm -hmm. y'all mean it, it it really has a power to change your mood, and I teach them no, we teach you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, man. Like them. NF is a I, I, I listen to okay, it one time, and I'm not good. An NF this. I'm saying, but, uh, <laughs> I'm saying talk about NF. Come on, they bring them back. That that's music is dark. Though, that's bro. just at the it top is. of your mind all the time. Um, it is, but but I guess it doesn't hit me that way. Yeah. But I, I when I saw her, like she said, she was feeling sad. That's that's like, what do you mean you're feeling sad? But I'll say this, children. Young children have that childlike faith. They have that purity, yeah, innocence. Their innocence. innocence. Mm -hmm. So when when they see stuff like I've seen, I've heard people give testimonies where a young lady come out of the cult. She had a daughter, and her she was getting attacked because she was coming out of the cult spiritually. Mm. And she said that um, she was in there, and the, her little her little daughter was like, "Let's pray, mommy," because. Um, something is big behind you, and let's pray right mm -hmm. now. Like it was like mm -hmm. very demonic, mm -hmm. and she you think was just, they could see spiritual things. Yeah, better than I think I, I just think that they they their senses because they're innocent. They haven't yeah. really hit 
it's hard into it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. think about a movie score. Like you watching a horror movie. Yeah. The music kind of capture the whole it's scene. Yeah. It yeah. builds yeah. the anticipation. Yeah. Like yeah. music just capture you. It does yeah. something to you. Push you in the movie. It's a jolly happy song. You ready to smile and tiptoe through the tulips. If it's yeah. sad and depressing, mm. you just like. 